bow down and worship him worship him oh worship him bow down and worship him bow down and worship him worship him oh worship him Jesus the King of Kings. Jesus the King of Kings. Worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Of course, some of us can worship for the whole day. Welcome to Thriving in Abundance Talk. It is, of course, a Thursday afternoon, and it is my absolute, absolute pleasure and honor this afternoon to welcome Umama Engi Mushoni Payo Gendele Mali. So I was reminding her <laughs> on the first time I met her, we just bumped into each other at the Westville Mall and we had a conversation just like that, quick, quick. It just it's a testament of the kind of person that she is. Umama Utogotela Utandi and Gonelo Mfundi. See, she's a mother, a prayer warrior, and of course, she is a teacher, she is also an author. And of course, um, more than anything else, she is a community builder. I think we will obviously remember when she was honored by a Tigwini municipality as one of the living legends of our city of uh, uh, Tigwini. Welcome, uh, Mamti. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, ya chapula kakulu na mshanje ugu hosta umama ofana nawe o ingalabuto, of course, in our city. May I just ask that you open uh, with a word of prayer for us. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Let us Hallelujah. pray. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, you are God. You are the almighty Jehovah. God who was, God who is, God, God who is to come. The whole earth belongs to you. Yes. In the beginning, when there was voidness and emptiness, your spirit was hovering upon the waters. Hallelujah. You spoke with your own voice and you said, let there be light and there was light. And that light, Father God, is still there even today. We yes. worship you. We glorify you, we trust you, we thank you, we give you all the glory and the honor. As we start right now, we invite the power of the Holy Spirit to be in this meeting. We welcome the Holy Spirit in this meeting. The Holy Spirit does everything good to us. We hand over everything completely to him in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Of course, Holy Spirit, you are welcome this afternoon. We are speaking about an important topic. Who is the Holy Spirit? Now, yes. looking at uh, the Bible, John 14, verse 26 to 27, it says, but the helper, mm. the Holy Spirit, whom the mm. Father will send in my name, mm. he will teach you all mm. things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Mm. Peace, I leave you. Praise the Lord. My peace, I give to you. Praise Not the Lord. as the world gives, do I give to you. Praise the Lord. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Hallelujah. Praise Ma, the Lord. Holy Spirit, Margit, who is the Holy Spirit? Can you just assist us this afternoon to break it down? 
so that we can all understand who is this our teacher, our friend, our counselor, our comforter, you know? <laughs> so, Ma. maybe before I answer your question that says yes. who is the Holy Spirit, yeah. let me just maybe give you a testimony how I was introduced to the Holy Spirit myself. Praise God. I am in this meeting. I am not born again. Somebody invites me. I'm seated yeah. here. The speaker mm -hmm. comes in. The speaker says before she ministers, I'll be talking about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. In my mind, something said, you, you, you from the Anglican, you know the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, here comes this lady. She ministers so powerfully about the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. until I stand up on my seat. Mm -hmm. Remember, it, it, it's my first experience being in, yes. in a place of born again Christians. Eh? Yeah. I stood yeah. up in my seat. I started crying where I was standing. Then I said to the lady next to me, can I please pass? I passed. I went in front. I lifted up my hands. Nobody called me. And the speaker was busy talking. Finished off. All of a sudden, I saw some people coming to join me. Remember Zoto, I don't know a lot of all eh? <laughs> People come and join me and we stand there. I am crying, my hands are lifted up. Mm -hmm. Then she says to us, follow me in this prayer. We started following in the prayer. Mm -hmm. Immediately she said, eh, 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 Lord, forgive, uh, forgive me my sins. I receive the Lord Jesus Christ, Zoto. I started bursting. Remember, I don't know what I'm saying yet. I said <laughs> that know. until I was taken out of the room. I said that until I went home. Wow. Almost wow. half that night I was not able to speak in understanding. I was wow. speaking in the Holy Spirit. Let wow. me come back. Wow, that's to a you. powerful testimony. That's a powerful <laughs> testimony. <laughs> My friend says to me, you see that the way you got back again, it means that your salvation was long overdue. That is why you could not <laughs> I can <Yeah>. identify. <laughs> When we deliberately delay ourselves. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now let me come back to your question. Zod, yes. the mm. Holy Spirit is everything good in our lives. Hallelujah. How I pray, we will not complicate the Holy Spirit. There are endless things that the Holy Spirit is in us. Firstly, Mm -hmm. It's not just a wind. Yes. He is the third person of the triune. It's the God third. the Father, God the Son, and God mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Finally, immediately, the person must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Same time, the person receives the Holy Spirit. Now, 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 now. Sometimes in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is referred to as the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Now, we have to understand you, you know, if this is serious, you would say, excuse me, Holy Spirit, then talk to that person. Wow. If we wow. were really serious with the Holy Spirit, because wherever we are, he is with us. When I wake up, the first thing before I talk to anybody, I need to wake up and say, good morning, Holy Spirit. And then I can go on with my business. The only thing that I have discovered is that we do not understand as children of God. Yeah. Wherever mm. we are, he is our teacher, he is our comforter, he's our counselor, he's mm. our helper, 
He is our healer. He is our advisor. He is our strengthener. He is our standby. He is our advocate. He mm. is everything to us. Mm. Mm. We, we do not acknowledge the Holy Spirit when, wherever we are. We are too late. Because he's the gentle spirit of God. But when we invite him to take over, to produce whatever we are going to do, he will come and help us. We are mm. having a talk show. We're being helped by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Otherwise, without the Holy Spirit, we wouldn't be able to do what we think we are able to do now. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is to us. You know, Ma, you said something very important there. You say we need to invite the Holy Spirit into yes. our lives. And a person yes. who probably is not yet a believer or a born again will be like, how, how, do, how do you do that? Do you just say, hello, Holy Spirit, here I am, come into my life. How does that take us through the process? In the basalt, All right. You have to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Amen. You have to ask the forgiveness of your sins. And then right. after that, you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This takes us to Acts chapter 2, Zoe. Yeah. They were in the upper room. Yes. And all of a sudden, there was a sound that sounded like ooh, 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 the sound of a wind outside. And mm. all of a sudden, Little mm. pieces of tongues. That is why they were able to speak in other tongues. The mm. evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit, it is seen when you are able to speak in other languages. Oh, okay. So if I cannot speak in tongues, does that mean that I am not filled with the Holy Spirit yet? If you are not able to speak in tongues, it means you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. The evidence must be you being able to speak in tongues. That is why Abbas understand it tongues. So in evidence you put your filled with the Holy Spirit, it is the Holy Spirit who gives you the utterances of tongues. I am always, always uh, 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 impressed with Luke chapter one, you remember yeah. the meeting between Elizabeth and Mary. Yes. Oh, Mary, we are suka kwake after a kulumene angel. Uya kwa Elizabeth. The Bible says immediately Mary greeted Elizabeth. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. This says yeah. to me, who mm. John, who was Elizabeth's son, was filled mm. with the Holy Spirit. It says this with his kamamaki. This is mm. me believing in that. Mm. Because that's mm. what the Bible says. Mm. So mm. it is very important for all of us to be filled with the Holy Spirit when we are children of God. It is a gift. It is free for everybody to have it. Because mm. Really? You cannot drive a car without petrol. Yeah. A car right. needs to have petrol. That, that is mm. why the Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, you mm -hmm. shall receive power yeah. when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Yeah. And you shall be my witnesses in Judea and in Samaria. Mm -hmm. so I give you. Yes. Now, let us break down case order 4. Umuntu opai ola lele ekaya onga understand uti. If mama uti, the Holy Spirit is a teacher, what does the Holy Spirit teach us? Absolutely. The Holy Spirit being a teacher, yeah. he will teach you the word of God. Mm. He, have you ever heard Zotwa umtu ati? Hey, ipa ipile, inkulu minagyaz, inkala kopi, ukuti, ngipela kopi, ene, ene, and he understand it, and he found that. I used to Holy be in that Spirit. space. Mm. Exactly. Mm. You, you, you have to ask, Holy Spirit, I'm now going to read the word of God. I ask you to teach me. That is why the Bible says he will teach you the hidden secrets of God. 
So All as right. you read the word, the Holy Spirit will reveal the word to you. And then there shall be an illumination in you understanding the word of God. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is as a mm. teacher. Lala okay. Ma. In, in, one of the things, which is a mistake, we confine yes. in the four walls of the church. All right. This is very dangerous. All right. In your business, wherever you, you go, because you have to go with him because he is going to teach you. I once got a job in an mm -hmm. NGO. They yeah. said they were looking at a teacher for a teacher, an educator. So I applied, I got a job. Mm. When I arrived, I found that the vocabulary that was spoken there was too much for me. Mm. Though it was an, 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 an education NGO, mm. I sat down and said, Holy Spirit, I'm here. I've got this job. I love it. Teach me how to go about with my work. So do you don't want to know. Mm. I became the best presenter in that work. Every school demanded for me. They would tell the manager, could, if you are not bringing Umam Tanji, don't mm. bring anybody because we wanted that woman. The Holy Spirit was helping me. I would drive to a school. I would invite the Holy Spirit all the way and say, I'm going there. I'm going to run a workshop. Run that workshop for me. I'm telling you, Zoda, I would go down to it. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. all right. Now I hear you. So now Umunyumundu will be like, oh, okay, so... Is it like, is it the Holy Spirit that must be God? Because you can like pray and say, Lord, here I am. I'm going to this school. Uh, please guide me. Yes. Yes. Mm. Exactly. So. Remember okay. we said he is the third part of the Trinity. Okay. So, can I say this? is the one who makes, who produces things. Mm. You have prayed this so. In yeah. the name of Jesus. Now the yes. Holy Spirit takes over to produce what you had prayed for. Okay. Um, well, go shopping with you. When <laughs> right. he will tell you, Uzo, today. Come next week. That item which was a thousand rand that day at Ungaiteng. You come back, it's 500 rand in the following week. That's mm, how serious okay. the Holy Spirit is with our yeah. lives. The Holy Spirit has come sort of to simplify our lives. Mm. To make our lives easy. Christ came that we must have life and have it in abundance. Yes, yes, yes. Talk yes. about the Holy Spirit being the comforter. Yeah. What happens when somebody dies? Yeah. Your heart is broken. Who mm. comes and heals that heart? The Holy Spirit. Because mm. the Holy Spirit is the comforter. You know, when my husband passed on in 2018, mm. people thought I was so strong during the weeks and the week and the funeral day, especially on the funeral day when they saw me conducting choir, pray, with speaking, and whatever. I was mm. helped by the Holy Spirit. Mm. In the evenings, I wouldn't sleep. I would cry my heart out, cry my mm. pain out. Mm. And then the following day, you would see me together, you know, mm. in one good, wonderful piece. I've been helped yeah. by the Holy Spirit. On my own, I wouldn't be able to do that. The Holy Spirit is such a great comforter. Look at mm. the era we're living in now, so yeah. People are yeah. dying. And mm. we cannot go to the funeral. We mm. just spend prayer and ask the Holy Spirit, go and comfort the people. Go and hug them. Yeah. During this era we are living in, mm. the Holy Spirit as a comforter is the only person who is able to help the people in yeah. the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's talk about the Holy Spirit, Zodwa, being mm. the counselor. Yes. We all need you to be cancelled in, in life. Mm. Everybody has something, a figure 
I cannot go about with this thing. If you ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me a strategy. How do yeah. I do this? How do I go about? Zodo, I was once hijacked coming into my house. Mm. These children were hiding apparently in the edge in my house. I opened the automatic gate and I come in, they jump out. Five of them, they've got guns, they come for me. I asked the Holy Spirit, so that I can communicate when I'm going to eat. No, but so I'm going Inside, I say, Holy Spirit, what do I do now? He says, keep quiet, don't say anything. Okay. Okay. Mm. They, they jumped in inside the car. They take my car. They run away. Now, I wanted to get inside my house and call my husband and my sons. The Holy Spirit said, ah, stand there, speak to the atmosphere. That was the first time for me to address the firmament, to address the, the ground. The yeah. Holy Spirit said to me, talk to the ground. I told the ground, ground, you will not allow my car to be taken to Mozambique. I refuse that you, you permit my car to be taken to, to, to outside South Africa. Guess what, mm. Zod? After mm. three days, my car was found, parked wow. at the front. My bag was there with all my belongings. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is. He canceled me. He told me what to do at that moment. Me, yeah. not on my own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing. So, okay, so maybe it's just instinct, the Holy Spirit. I, I have heard people speaking about the sixth sense. Yeah. I, I have heard people speaking about it. I listen to my gut. This is not the Holy Spirit. Mm. Onga paka tikwe tu esi ambanayo. Like we say, some gele uchesu. Some people do not understand ukut ukwam gele uchesu yini na. We know that Christ is in mm. our heart. We know ukuti na moyo ngwele na yengo kunjalo use zinkizueni zetu. Yeah. So we know ukuti si ya communicator na ye. Mm. As you mm. are seated. M7 Zini, behind mm. your computer, you are communicating with the Holy Spirit all the way through. You don't have Uguti, you must, must, must turn tables upside down. But you know, whatever I'm, I'm doing, I, I, I am, I, I'm, I'm walking in gateway, I'm doing uh, 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 shopping, I'm doing it with the Holy Spirit. Who mm. he tells me, don't enter this shop. Don't eat mm. in this restaurant. He tells you what to do, when, mm. and how to do it. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is in our life. Does this come with experience? Like maybe um, because you've lived this kind of a lifestyle, ma, for such a long time. So to you, it's just like, yeah, you know, and it's, it's easy. So maybe uh, someone who just recently uh, um, accepted Jesus Christ as their savior or became born again, they're still struggling with this Holy Spirit, you know, what, what, what would be your advice? Remember I said to you earlier on, immediately mm. a person gets born again, let a person be filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm. Let a person become friends with the Holy Spirit. Mm. Let, mm. You think that once we get born again, the yeah. main most important thing we need to do is to read the word of God. That is where you get to know God, to know his decrees, to know his laws, to know his statutes. And as you keep on reading the word, now you go to the place of prayer. Now you pray the word that you have just read. Ooh, 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 you become friends with the Holy Spirit. That is why even a mountain has a sort. You will hear Uguti, my mind is saying this, but my mouth is saying this. It is the Holy Spirit who knows what needs to be said at that moment. So yeah. it's not a matter of Uguti. Later on, immediately you get born again, become friends with the 
Holy Spirit, know the Holy Spirit, know mm. the still small voice of the Holy Spirit, depend mm. on the Holy Spirit. Mm. Depend on the Holy Spirit to an extent that when you are going to study, you're studying for a PhD, mm. he will tell you, Ukuti, this is what is going to be in the examinations. You have become friends with the Holy Spirit. People by among Ukuti, why are you sorting those like a man is not to No, mm -hmm. it is because I am friends with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at it, Lord. Let's talk about the Holy Spirit being the strengthener. Yeah. Can you say, Ukuti, there's funeral after funeral after funeral during these days. There are families who will lose one member this week and lose the other one member next week. Where do those people get the strength from? From mm. the Holy Spirit. Mm. They mm. invite the Holy Spirit. Oh, Tina, who we'll pray for them. We invite the Holy Spirit. Go to your family and go and strengthen them. They are going through a difficult time because we know Ukutimoyangwele is the strengthener. He will strengthen you after an operation, after surgery, because yeah. the surgery is so difficult that yeah. you lose your strength. He will strengthen you during a funeral. He will strengthen yeah. you during after birth, after yeah. childbirth. He, he mm. will strengthen you after you have had bad news. What do you think you do when out of the blue you got a decree, a divorce? What happens to you? You need the Holy Spirit to strengthen you during that time. The Holy mm. Spirit will strengthen you when you ask him to strengthen you. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is in our lives. Mm, mm, Let's talk mm. about the Holy Spirit being our standby. Mm. He always stands by next to us when things are tough, when you have to go. Let's say you are going to court. The Bible says, even if they take you to court, don't even think what you are going to say there. But the Spirit of God who is inside of you, you will mm. speak out of you will speak on your behalf. In other words, Zodo, there are times in life where you cannot speak for yourself. Yeah. But we the know. Spirit will speak for you. Mm. If you have never been in such a place, then it means you don't know life. Kukona is cut. Upper M. Shaden. Napa Unga Kwazukuz Tetela Utetelwa Gumoya Oyinwe. That's the Holy Spirit being your standby and your advocate. Yeah, yeah. Let me go to our faith. That's amazing. That's amazing. He's our friend. He's our strengthener. He's our comforter. He's everything to us. Just allow the Holy Spirit to be part of your life. But in the you must read the Bible and then you must pray. Prayer is key. Prayer yes. is key because that's where you're going to. You know, you sometimes you read about this. Um, people will write prayer changes things and you never really understand, you know, but this is exactly what it is because then once you've prayed, then the Holy Spirit becomes there, you know, you know, and just make sure what he guides you in everything that you, you do and say, let me, let me go to our Facebook page, Emma, and just check what people are saying there. Yeah. Uh, maybe they've got uh, questions. Um, all right. Okay. So far, it's just comments. Uh, thanks, Mam Tandi, for explaining the work of the Holy Spirit. That's uh, Mam Chau Kelapeao, Sister Chawika. I'm revived. He is here to make things easy for us. Power there. Our yes. friend from the US, they are saying glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. May I just encourage our viewers on Facebook to please ask these questions. I know that there are some people that have got burning questions that they would like to ask, you know, because, you know, something that you mentioned about praying in tongues. I know a lot of people uh, are believers and they've been in the journey for quite a while, but they, it's either they cannot pray in tongues or maybe they just do not want to pray in tongues. I don't know. Is it a question of wanting to, or is it something that just happens? Okay, so we. I'm asking about praying in tongues. Remember, you yeah. said that when you cannot pray in tongues, uh, sometimes it may just mean that then you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. 
And I'm saying, I know there might be people that would want to ask further questions around that. Yes, people yeah. have got to be helped. People have got to be helped, Zod. Yeah. Those who are filled with the Holy Spirit must help those who are not filled with the Holy Spirit. It's just to, to, to lead the person in the prayer and that as this you okay. can do on your own. Holy Spirit, oh Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus to fill me with the Holy Spirit. It's as simple as all that. And when you have asked, God will make sure that he fills you with the Holy Spirit. Listen mm -hmm. to what the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Yes. yes. For we do not know, but mm -hmm. the Spirit helps us. I, I love that scripture because Ungulunkulu gives us a right to say, I don't know. I don't know to be a wife. I've just got married. I'm 19 years old. I don't know to be a wife, mm -hmm. but the Spirit helps me to teach me how to become a wife, to teach me. It's the first time for me to have a baby. I'm married. I'm 21 years old. I've never had a baby. The spirit of God helps me. That is Romans chapter 8, verse 26, yeah. where it says, for we do not know, but the spirit helps us. In other words, let us yeah. not be shy when we do yeah. not know anything. The spirit of God will help us. What we need to do, we need to ask. In John chapter 16, verse 3, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is our guide. He guides us. Yeah. You know, I, I went to America. The first time I went to America, Zodo, I got lost. Hey, yeah. I, I alighted at Boston instead of Atlanta. And wow. uh, now I had to connect again from Boston to Atlanta. Jonga. I depended on the Holy Spirit that day. Firstly, have yeah. you spoken to Americans, especially the black ones? You, I, I, I cannot understand them. You know, when a person says, where is the toilet? He doesn't say toilet. Then I don't hear, my goodness me. I say, Holy Spirit, I hope you have heard what that person has said. Now this guy gives me a new ticket. He says to me, you're going to join this. So I did not hear a word what that guy said. I depended yes. on the Holy Spirit. I, 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 I jumped onto the shuttle. Now I don't know where to alight because I'm Zwanga. I stood up. I stood up. I stood up. I alight here at no. Here, no. Here, no. Then it said, here you can alight. This is your stop. I came down. Guess what? When I come down, here are the people who have come to meet me. Wow. That's wow. powerful. Oh, that's actually really powerful. That's really powerful. That's really powerful. Let me go to our Facebook page. Mine, just check on the questions there. Um, oh, Darren is saying, when did you know that you received the, the that you received his spirit? I think you've already covered that uh, when you when you related your story. <laughs> yeah, my when you went to the church. So Darren, you must just uh, go back uh, after the show to check um, on, on that. Um, Utulisile, they're saying, interested in getting Mam Tandi's perspective on forgiveness. How do you use the power of the Holy Spirit to, to forgive someone who has hurt you deeply and they are not remorseful? Yay, in the by forgiveness. Mm. Yeah. How can we, how can the uh, Holy Spirit assist us then? What a question, what a question. Yeah. L listen, sweetheart, mm. forgiveness is, is, is a deliberate choice of forgiving somebody who has hurt you for your own freedom. Mm. But if there is a journey mm. that you have to walk mm. until you feel that I am now free. I have mm. forgiven this person. Mm. Forgiveness. Mm. It, it is to set a, a, a prisoner, go free, only to find that that prisoner was you. Mm. Mm. You are not saying what the person did to you is right, but mm. you are saying for the sake of your soul, you mm. are prepared to let the pain go so that you can enjoy your life 
once more again. That is why you find out that when somebody has deeply hurt you, mm. that person can even die. And that person will control you from the grave. Because a tear will trickle down your face because you are thinking of a person who hurt you and that person is dead. Can I put it this way? Yes. Forgiveness is the aroma that flowers give out to a person who has crushed them. I want to repeat that. Please do. Forgiveness is the scent or the aroma that flowers <laughs> give out to a hill that have crushed them. In other words, you forgive having been crushed. Now, mm. you say, Holy Spirit, I'm mm -hmm. deeply hurt. Mm. I ask you to give me strength to forgive this person. Mm -hmm. So that I was once hurt in my marriage, mm -hmm. very hurt. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit says to me, come, let me heal you. You know what I said? I said, mm -hmm. Now, can, can, can you hear this? The Holy Spirit is willing to forgive yeah. me. It is mm -hmm. me who is refusing. It's a no. I'm saying, <laughs> leave me alone. This is my pain. This is yeah. what we do so that when we fail to forgive, I, mm. uh, I thank God who opened my eyes to say to me, the Holy Spirit is here to help you. You cannot mm. refuse when the Holy Spirit is here to help you. I had to mm. let go of my pain. And after mm. I let go of my pain, it is then, then that I got a relief and I moved on with life. Forgiveness mm. is not an easy thing, Zodwa. We must not take it light, just like that. There are people sometimes that you must forgive, but they must be at a distance with you. Forgiving yeah. a person who has raped your child. Mm. I have forgiven you, but I don't want to see you next to my child again. Mm. That's forgiveness. So I, I, I do understand when that lady says, how do uh, I am I helped here? How is the Holy Spirit going to help me here when I am deeply ahead? It's the Holy mm. Spirit that will help you. Little by little, sweetheart, the pain will move on until you feel that. When I speak about this thing, I no longer cry. First, mm. I used to cry. Now I can relate it without crying. Then it shows that I have got total healing. Healing. All right. All right. All right. Now, what can you um, maybe take us a little bit through the spiritual gifts? You know, I know it's something maybe just completely different, but what is the link between the Holy Spirit and spiritual gifts? The Holy Spirit, Zoe, uh, uh, we have been given by God to, to, to grant us spiritual gifts. Each yeah. person, as Zalwa, Unkulunkulu, some gifts that is why I, I, I see movie in the same direction so so do so mm -hmm. that is why you cannot even compare preachers I, I have heard yeah. people go, comparing preachers and I would say hey these people they 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 are really missing it out here here bye 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 comparing preachers Bring because that. yes when a house is built we don't yeah. use the same when you're building a house. Yeah. Preachers are like, are like a dogs. When you go hunting, you, you don't take the same pack of dogs. There's mm -hmm. one, the one that smells where the prey is. There's the one that is a great runner. There's the one that has got strength that is going to kill. There is the one that is going to carry back home. So we mustn't compare preachers. Now, mm. le 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 let's talk about the gifts now. Yeah. Uh, 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 there are different types of gifts, like Descending of spirits. Yes. There, there, there are people who know how to, uh, 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 to discern a spirit. Descending yeah. of spirits, it's not suspecting people. You mustn't look at people and suspect them that uh, they, uh, uh, you discern the spirit of a person. You, yeah. you, you, the Holy Spirit helps you to say, don't, don't, don't marry this one. 
Yeah, they, 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 don't, don't marry this one. All three want to marry you. Don't marry the middle one. Better go for the third one, not the first mm -hmm. one, not the second one. That is how power. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we seem to have lost Mamungonelo Lapea. There must be a challenge. Oh, with... The Holy Spirit is to, 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 to give you the, the, the of spirits. All right. Come again, Zoe. Yes, no, no, no. We had lost then, a little bit. Go ahead, the, Ma. Mm -hmm. the, the Holy Spirit will, will give you a, a wisdom. You will, you will have extra wisdom, like uh, more than other people. You will be able to go around an issue because the Holy Spirit has given you wisdom uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 to do it. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit also can give you uh, extra faith, extra faith where some other people see a challenge in what you are talking about, but because when you have been given a gift of faith, the Holy Spirit yes. will be able to, 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 to use you in, 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 the, in this manner to have a, a faith for, 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 for things that other people have lost faith in. Again, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit also ushers and give us a, a gift of, of healing. There mm -hmm. are people who, who, who know how, how to heal certain things that other people uh, uh, think they, they are unable to, 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 to do. The mm -hmm. Holy Spirit also will give you a gift of, of mercy where will you will go or, or about having mercy to people, having mm -hmm. that spirit of compassion, dealing mm -hmm. with issues uh, that mm -hmm. other people uh, uh, feel this is too much too. You know, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that I have done, I, I mm -hmm. have worked in uh, 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 places like the shelter where you, mm -hmm. you work with children who are on drugs, where mm -hmm. you work with people, with children who, who, who use nyaube. Those people eat, need extra mercy. They, they, they need extra compassion because it, it's not comfortable to be around them. But mm. God must grant you a spirit of compassion and God mm. must grant you a, a spirit of mercy to be able to, 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 to work with, with those people, something that other people are not able to, 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 do. to, to, to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Zodua, they are different from person to person. What you need to do you need to sit down with yourself. Yeah. You, you know, after reading the word, after praying, always give yourself that extra five, 10 minutes to sit down with yourself and try to analyze, Ukuti, where are you gifted? Because we are not gifted on the same way or in the same manner. Mm, 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 mm. But we are all gifted regardless. All of us. There is no one person who does not have a gift, but find out what your gift is. Because once you know what your gift is, you will be able to run in your own lane and run your own track. Yeah, absolutely. You, once you know, you will be able to, to run in your own lane. So it's um, upon you to make sure that you understand yourself such that you also exactly. understand what your gifts are. Let me just go back to our Facebook page again, mind check. Uh, La Payana, uh, forgiveness doesn't mean forgetness. Uh, and then, um, but how do we deal with environments where being filled by the Holy Spirit is considered demonic? Being filled with the Holy Spirit is not a demonic. Mm. If you are in a place like that, then it means you are in a wrong place. Because For you. you yes. Mm. You, you, uh, listen, so let me just say this. Take Genesis mm. chapter 1. Genesis yeah. chapter 1, verse 1. The earth mm. was void. The earth was empty. The, yes. the, the earth had no shape. Mm. 
the spirit of God was hovering upon the waters. That mm. is where we are introduced to the Holy Spirit. Mm. Now, because he will straighten it up as we see in Genesis chapter one, verse one, he straightened everything. So we are bold enough to say, whatever we see today was done through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, how can the Holy Spirit be demonic? When God created a man, he blew his spirit inside of the man. That mm -hmm. was the Holy Spirit being through, uh, blown inside of the man. Now, how can the Holy Spirit be demonic? Demonic. Mm, he, mm, cannot mm. Be. he cannot be demonic. Yeah. He is God. How can God be demonic? Mm. It doesn't I'm make sure. sense. It's a lack of understanding. It's a lack of knowledge. That is why you hear the Bible say, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Yes, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. It is important that we make sure what we read and understand these things, especially the Bible. I mean, it's just Genesis 1. You know, how difficult can that be? <laughs> Let me go back to our Facebook page, mind check. La Payao okay. Matisse saying, thank you for the reminder, Mam Tandi, that we need the Holy Spirit in all situations. We sometimes choose to invite the Holy Spirit only when we are on the crossroads and forgetting that we need him all the time. Exactly. Thank you, Lord, for this powerful message. She is right. She is right. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And then says, Mangonela is amazing. I can spend my whole life just listening to you. God bless you. Yeah, no lies detected there. <laughs> you wanted to say something, Ma? Please go ahead. <laughs> Um, I, I, I am saying, I, 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 when there's a, a problem in the Bible, you will always hear, uh, uh, is there any man with the spirit of God who can solve this for us? You remember even Pharaoh, Pharaoh once said so, is there any man who has got the spirit of God who, who, who can be brought and come? And, 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 and solve this for us. That is why uh, Joseph was taken uh, 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 and was sent uh, 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 to, 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 to go to, 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 to Pharaoh. So yeah. the Holy Spirit is, is, is everything good. So if I can put it that way, mm. when you need something good, when you need something done, when you mm. need something produced, mm. talk to the Holy Spirit, he will do it for 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 you whatever we need in life the holy spirit is always there with us to help us you are going to do shopping you are in woolworths you ask the holy spirit holy spirit help me i need a lot of things but my money my money is not mm. going to be sufficient the holy spirit is able to stretch your money and you will be yeah. able to buy more things than you, you actually have the money for. Remember, I said in the beginning, so the mm. Holy Spirit has come to simplify our lives. Oh, how okay. I pray that the people of God, we yeah. shall recognize and we shall acknowledge the Holy Spirit who has come mm. to simplify our walk with God. Mm, 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 mm. We mustn't complicate the Holy Spirit. It's supposed to be simple because he is everything. You know, Zoe, even if I'm yeah. going to take a nap, I invite yeah. the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I'm going to, in, to take a nap now. Mm. And yes. I'm scared because I might climb on my bed and I'm tired. I want to take a nap. So that is why the best thing, let me invite the Holy Spirit eh, 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 Take a nap with the Holy Spirit. I promise you, I will wake up with a dream because I invited the Holy Spirit as I was taking the nap. That's how simple we need to simplify the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now uh, people who are obviously not born again, Ma, they would be looking on them. They will, they will believe in other spirits and it works for them. 
you know, and they would argue, but no, no, I'm fine. I mean, uh, this is, I mean, like, this is the line that I follow and I'm comfortable with that. And it's all spirit because everything is spiritual. So yes. you guys must not fuss about this Holy Spirit of yours because yes. in Anati, we are comfortable with the kind of spirits that we follow. What would yes. be your take on that? We will not rush them. We will okay. not rush them. We are praying for their salvation All because right. salvation is their visa to go to God. So mm -hmm. we are not going to argue with them, but mm -hmm. we are praying for them. The mm -hmm. seed is planted in their lives until they recognize and they realize that they need Christ in their lives. Because mm -hmm. one thing you need to know, Zoe, Ukuti, Jesus. It's not introduced to us the day we get born again. Mm -hmm. Jesus is introduced to us when we come in life. But the I thing is, you. the pillar is not knowing Jesus hands are open for him to embrace us. Mm -hmm. Jesus arms are open for him to embrace us. Jesus arms are open for him to cuddle us. Then mm. on the day of salvation, it's when mm. we say, my goodness me, I nearly died in my sins. I never knew Ukut, my will wanted to kill me. That is why now, now that I'm, I've received Christ, I must live in the will of God. So even those people, will keep mm. on praying for them until they realize, Ukut, I am Dinga Uchesu, is in Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, no, that's 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 quite a mouthful. We cannot judge. We must keep on praying for them. No, we can't. <laughs> we keep on praying. We keep on praying. Right now, even now, there are people that we are praying for, and then once they get born again, you get you give yourself a pet of the bag. Put it. This person I've been praying for. He is now born again. You don't have to post to anybody as long as you know. You don't even have to tell that person that I was praying for you. When you get comfortable that the person ultimately left what he was doing, which was wrong in the sight of God, and you got pen again. We're judging nobody. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. All right. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to cover before we, we wrap up our conversation? And I would uh, encourage our viewers to say, uh, we've got a few minutes to go. If you have any other burning question, please go ahead and ask so that we can do that. Whilst we have Mam Gonello, she's very busy. It is such a, a privilege for us to have her uh, this, this afternoon. So Ma, anything else that you'd like to share this afternoon about who the Holy Spirit is? Maybe let me re-emphasize emphasize Zoe on yeah. the point that I made earlier on that yes. the Holy Spirit has come to empower us. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you yeah. shall receive power. That is yeah. empowerment. In yeah. other words, the Holy Spirit has come to empower everybody. If you need empowering in whatever you are doing, you need the Holy Spirit to come and help you in your business. He will empower you in your career. He will empower you in your home. He will empower you as a single lady, as a widowed a person. Mm -hmm. He will empower you in your marriage. He will empower you. The Holy Spirit has come to empower humanity. This is what I want to emphasize. The Holy Spirit has come to empower humanity. The Holy Spirit has come to empower humanity. I mean, what an absolute joy to know that we've got the Holy Spirit always with us because he's here to empower us. So who wouldn't want to fellowship with the Holy Spirit every day every hour and every second. Ma, can I give you an opportunity to give us a parting shot yeah, before we close um, our uh, show this afternoon? Praise the Lord. Amen. Can I say this to all of us? 
Yes. We, we are living during a difficult time. A, a time that we never knew that we would once go through a time like this. You know, I remember yeah. I was raised up by my maternal grandmother. And she said to me, when I got your mother in 1918, there was a fever that swept and killed a lot of people. You know, I listened to my grandmother and I was asking fever that can kill such a lot of people. Now I'm seated with this COVID-19. I'm thinking about my grandmother that mm. he, she once told me about a fever in 1918. Mm. This thing that we are going through, Bazaluan, one mm. of the things that he's doing, he is making us to lose joy. Because now we are no longer doing the things that we used to do. But the Bible yeah. says in First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, yes. the yeah. Holy Spirit, the Lord yeah. gave us to bring yeah. joy to us. Yeah. Let us call us the Holy Spirit every day to fill us with joy. So, even if you have not uh, uh, been positive, this thing is affecting us, affecting us directly mm -hmm. or indirectly. E even if you have not lost people, this yeah. thing is affecting all of us. Yes. When people are hurting in social media, when people mm -hmm. will see on TV burying people. I remember yesterday, a, a Professor Lungile Pepeta was buried. Do you know mm -hmm. all of us? I'm not belittling other funerals, but I'm saying mm -hmm. in the Yaga Professor Lumile Pepeta, it mm -hmm. gripped us. Those mm -hmm. who watch the funeral in social media, it was mm -hmm. like you were in that funeral. These mm -hmm. things make us to lose our joy. But I pray mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus over mm -hmm. South Africa, that sure. South African, we are not going to lose our joy because of the period that we are going through. We are praying in the name of Jesus that yes. God will send even the power of joy to those people who have left, who, who, who have lost their loved ones. Those people who are sick, when they see us responding in social media, they will get a spirit of joy that they will stay in that quarantine period. And when they come out, they will come out healthy, they will come out strong, they will come out strengthened because they have received the spirit of God. This is what I want to say to all of us. Hallelujah. Tina says, Go on, Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Maybe one should take this opportunity that have lost their loved ones during this time and those that are yes. not feeling well to say yes. the Holy Spirit is there as your yes. comforter, as your yes. counselor, as your yes. healer. Speak mm. to the Holy Spirit. Speak mm. to the Holy Spirit. Do not mm. afraid to just sit where you are and say, Holy Spirit, here I am. Talk to me. I'm not well. These things mm. are not going well. I'm, mm. I've lost my job. I'm losing my loved ones. 
whatever that is happening in your life right now, uh, please do invite the Holy Spirit to be the one that navigates this period with you. Ma, thank you so much for taking time to spend um, with us this afternoon. I really, really appreciate thank you. you so and I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, Ugutsi, we're still going to be uh, with you in many other projects that we do as a Thriving in Abundance Talk and also as Econo Thrive Global as, a, as, a, as an organization. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. You for that. Let Thank you so, so much. I would just like to take this opportunity to wish you everything of the best. I know Thank that you. this time you are so busy because they are, I know we, we, we fellowship with you in our prayers on Saturday for Women's Month and there are many other platforms where you participate as you Praise are saying that we have to keep on praying because we do not want this thing to steal our joy. We want to remain joyful all the time because it is indeed the fruits of the spirit uh, and we love you uh, <laughs> so much we <laughs> love you too baby love you too the lord bless my name, you hallelujah hallelujah my name Thank is you. Uh, this is a thriving in abundance talk signing off indeed we will see you again next week thursday but otherwise for our special series that focuses on the marketplace we're coming up again uh, uh, on tuesday so please um tune in all right thank you so much thank you for joining us Thank you, Ma. Bless you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. <laughs>